Australian judge orders Google to reveal the identity of anonymous negative reviewer will Google comply? Why it matters, anyone who has been an active internet user for an extended period has likely dealt with criticism of some sort, but companies and business owners tend to get the worst of it. Whether openly hostile or merely critical, negative reviews for products and services are the norm, and tech companies have made it easier than ever for users to share their opinions. However, opting to do so might just land you in hot water in some circumstances, as one anonymous Google user is about to learn. A dentist based out of Melbourne, Australia, has managed to convince a federal judge to order Google to unmask the individual behind a negative review left on his business Google page. The dentist, Matthew Kabob, claims the three-month-old review in question is the only negative one his business has received to date. I believe it is extremely unfair that people are allowed to anonymously attack honest, hard-working small businesses, Kabob said in a statement to ABC. The anonymous reviewer, who goes by the username CBSM23, could have information like his IP address, phone number, and full name divulged if Google complies with the judge's order. Kabob and his lawyer Mark Stanarevic feel the negative review constitutes defamation. Stanarevic says his client has lost thousands of dollars in business due to the criticism. For our part, we were unable to find CBSM23's review anywhere on Dr. Kabob's Asprodontics Google page. There are 28 reviews in total, and all of them give Asprodontics a full 5 star rating, though, somehow, the practice has a 4. 9 fifths overall score. It's possible that the individual pulled the review in response to this legal action, but we cannot say for sure. Either way, it's somewhat difficult to believe that a single negative review, out of at least 29, would be enough to negatively impact any business, especially an otherwise well respected dentistry practice, to a meaningful degree. With that said, we're not business or legal experts, so we'll leave all final judgment to the courts. Image credit, Shutterstock, 2. For more on this story, visit the news article link.